Just a quick video of my S14. That has a 5.3 liter LM7 truck motor in it. Um, I used to have an SR20 in it. Currently getting ready for LS Fest. Took the SR20 out back in February, it's now August. And put in the old truck motor out of Avalanche. Um, here is my fuse box that was under the hood, under the fender. LS Carvette accessories. Plan on using that. I'm trying to get close to the block as possible because my radiator, I tucked it under with a chase base, but it still sticks out quite a bit. Have a can pan in there and the oil filter relocation with a um, dash 10 line. I have some chase base brake line relocation kit. Um, if you plan on running that, I say the rear brake line, it doesn't clear the LSX header, so I had to get another line made with about 16 inches of brake line. But it's not that bad. Got everything out of there, getting ready to put in my big turbo and my LS1 intake. It's a Borg Warner 475, a T4 flange 83 millimeter. Just my Galant VR4, it still runs. Don't hardly ever drive it. Scare somebody's gonna hit me to tell you the truth, but I drive it probably twice a month. Um, there's the manual bent mile steel I plan on using two and a quarter inch because I have truck manifolds. I'm going two and a quarter inch to help spool that big ass turbo up on this 5.3 liter. I'll use a little bit of four inch, a little bit of three inch for the downpipe also. Um, the inside of the car is not too bad. Just have a little harness bar in there my Evo Recaro seats, get ready to put in my wide band, my boost gauge, a couple of little gauges I got. Um, that's pretty much it. Just getting ready. Oh, that's my um, intercooler. Yeah, I'm a military guy too. That's my intercooler, it's a gritty. I used it on my SR20 that I was pushing around, daily driven, about 25 pounds of boost. Until next time.